Welcome to Scenic Backroads, the people and places of Tennessee. I'm Kathleen Duff. And I'm Dylan Russell. This time on Scenic Backroads, we'll check out some local musicians and we'll find out what it takes to put on a play at Rome State. All that and much more. First, let's go with Mickey Parsons and Katie Skillinger to see something you might not know about. Did you know that the world's largest treehouse built by one man is right around the bend in Crossville? Let's check it out. Here in Crossville, Tennessee, you will find the largest treehouse ever built by one man, standing 11 stories high and supported by seven trees. <laughs> Every kid dreams of a treehouse, but Horace Burgess brought his dream to life by building one of the largest treehouses in the world. Between eight and 10,000 square feet, it's 97 feet from the high side to the top. It's over 100 feet from the low side. It's uh, got a basketball court in a sanctuary. It has like a little prayer chapel in the sanctuary. I have the church come to the treehouse on Sundays at one. And you can come and I might have you preaching before the sermon's over, you know. I mean, I just let everybody ask questions throughout the whole thing. And, and if anyone's got anything to, to add to what the Spirit of God's doing at the time, why well, I let them say what they want to say or do what they want to do. And we're, ha we're having to measure it and draft it to scale and make a blueprint of it. And we're going to put solar lighting throughout it so it'll go into the Guinness as the, the world's largest green tree house ever. It has 258,000 nails that I shot with a nail gun. There's over 500 pounds of nails in it that I nailed by hand. Where it needed one nail, I put four nails, you know, so it's real strong and sturdy. And uh, it's a good place if, you're, if you have a fear of heights, it's a good place to come and get over that because the higher you, the higher you go, the more secure that actually you feel because it's, it's pretty solid up there. It has to move because it's in seven trees and it just comes down and touches the ground. It doesn't have a foundation like conventional homes do. So it'll be moving in the wind. It's built out of recycled things. I mean, I've, I've torn down buildings and, and barns and old houses. Most of, the, most of everything that's in there, except the spindles that's on the railings, is uh, all been either cull, people threw them away, didn't want them, or uh, I, I tore them down and knocked the nails out and re-nailed them. It's free. Yeah, I have, a, I have a donation box if anyone wants to be a part of it, while they can always leave a gift there that's appreciated, but I never, I never will charge anyone to see it. I actually built it so that everyone in the whole world could come and climb it someday. I, I just wanted it to be the tree house that you always wanted and you never had. It took 11 years to get like it is now. I've worked on it off and on for the last, well, it'll be 19 years that it's been a work in progress this year. I was sitting up there praying one day, one Sunday afternoon for everything but a tree house. And the Spirit of God said, if you'll build me a tree house, I'll never let you run out of material. 11 years later, I put the roof on it. I climbed up, around, and down the minister tree house, not once, but twice. Open seven days a week, come explore this man-made miracle. 